Fucking no sell on the boot. Awesome. <laughs> no sell on the boot. <laughs> no sell on the boot. That was actually pretty, pretty, pretty fucking dope. No, thank you for that. Thank you for that deep dive. I will. I'll, I'll be honest with you. That was. That seems like that was a time where I tuned out of wrestling because I'm seeing a lot of. I was seeing a lot of Kofi, a lot of art, like you know, 2012 CM Punk. Christian was in there. I appreciate that. So this is one of our two. Hell in the Cell matches we have for the card. Um, uh, a little bit of backstory here. Karen Cross is the current number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, well, you know, Cody Rhodes currently holds that title here in my universe mode. Uh, he did win that off of Kevin Owens. Uh, this is Cody Rhodes' first actual feud against an actual heel. Uh, so I had no intentions of turning Kevin Owens heel when he went up against Cody Rhodes because Cody because um, how I how I break down my 2k content on the channel uh, I started with uh, doing 2k22 content right before 2k23 came out but I was a little bit late to the game here so it was a very accelerated version uh, of the content so I did a couple PLEs the last match the last show I did for 2k22 was Mania uh, NXT stand and deliver and Mania and basically whatever whoever whoever the champions were towards the end of those shows just transferred over um to 2k23 uh, kevin owens being one of them he was he won the intercontinental championship at mania i believe in a six-man ladder match and then and he did hold it briefly until um cody rhodes picked up um and, uh, cody rhodes is the current IC champion. We didn't have a world champion on Raw for a bit because Cody Rhodes is exclusive to Raw, which is why I I had him as the IC champion. And then with the with the reintroduction of the world heavyweight title, um, he didn't compete in the tournament. But the time has come to fall. I I personally don't want him Dusty near that Prelude title because I again I do want attack. him. We are chasing the one that matters and that is the undisputed Cross. championship so with that title right now being held by a superstar on nitro or formerly known as smackdown at the time we may see cody jump back and forth here but because i have all these brands included in my universe mode here uh the main one the overall the one the one the wwe title here that's the governing title that governs over everything i have here so that's the one like it's like the one ring in lord of the rings here it is literally the one ring yeah but. adrenaline damn this copyright strike in the song something something cody rhodes <laughs> it's, it, i'm so mad because i finally get this actual theme song and like I can't play it on YouTube because I'm gonna get copyright shipping. The crowd is here. Da -na -na -na, da -na 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 -na. Okay, I'm I'm off like a couple weeks. Actually, check out my TikTok because I when I had a call of Cody for 2K22, like I did my own rendition <laughs> of this of of uh is it Kingdom by Downstraight? Yeah, it is Kingdom by Downstraight. I actually yesterday I finally came around to watch uh, that Cody Rhodes documentary and boy did I cry like I cried some man tears I cried and it's funny I made a comment yesterday like like so my buddy Uncle Jay who happens to be in chat like you know he you know we finally hooked up again after not seeing each other for decades and we went to a Ring of Honor show during Cody Rhodes's independent run so we had a chance to do a meet and greet with Cody and then I got to thinking I didn't realize he was married to Brandy and then I think I, I was like you know what I think I've may I may have met Brandy in real life as well too 
and I went to like look through like my logs and stuff because I, you know, you know, when I was going to college, I, you know, I, I, was, I moonlight as a production assistant. And one of the commercial shoots that I worked on, uh, Brandy was talent for that commercial. So we were doing a commercial for, I believe, a luxury car dealership in West Palm Beach. And I'm like, I'm, I, she looks so familiar and I couldn't figure out where the fuck I met her before. And then I pulled I pulled up the commercial. And I was like, oh, shit, like I was there. <laughs> like I met like in my little weird brain. I'm like, listen, I happen to meet both members of the Rhodes family here within like 10 years of each other here. That's that, I think that's pretty fucking a little fun story that I I, I, I could, could tell here, even though it's, it sounds fucking loserish, but it means a lot to me because, again, I'm. I'm a fucking wrestling fan. In the back of my mind, this whole documentary, I'm like, yeah, we both met. You know, we bet both of them. I, I think I, I think we, uh, my buddy Uncle Jay and I, both have pictures with him. I will say the hard drive that those pictures are stored on is shit. So like, I'm so mad because I did take some nice pictures that night. So much history attached to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, uh, right now, it's all about living in the present, in the now. Uh, but uh, back to the storytelling of the rivalry here. Uh, so again, this is Cody's first um, feud with an actual heel heel, and you know it's not just about Cody wanting or carrying wanting to take the Intercontinental Championship. He does want to break the will and mind of said Cody Rhodes. This can't be good. Ooh. My brain buster. Don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. No more. This is also like my maybe like third Hell in a Cell match. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Oh, oh boy. Please. Please calm down. So I believe the controls are different outside. Yeah. Like you have to be like within a certain like distance. Oh wow. And like this, even of itself, it's on like its own mini game. So oh, nice. Oh. Yeah, of course you're gonna go back in. Why wouldn't you? Your best bet. You beat me with this bat, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, referee. Seems to bring out the darkest, <laughs> most treacherous sides of anyone who enters. With that in mind, Corey, how do you begin to oh, boy. the cell? You're right, the hell in the cell certainly brings out the most depraved side of a person, Cole, and you can't fight that. So you just have to succumb to that deep, dark place in your heart because your opponent already has. Go, go, go. Cody oh, nice. Me, Cody. What can we do to break the cage? Like we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna get out this cage by the way. And like now the AI being stupid. I'm also carrying cross here, so we're gonna switch up here. You can throw me over again. And this is where the AI does stupid shit. Okay, so I can't counter any of this. I could have countered that. And we throw him right back to the spot where I didn't want him to be in because I can't do fuck all with that. 
Come on, sir. Can we finish opening the cage? Can we fin I think we can finish opening this if we can get to the spot here. Nope. Or we're just going to do this endless loop of course shit. Okay, 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 okay. Hi, let me go, please. Punch straight to the face, stays off the attack. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, we're gonna burn. Hey, hey. Okay, let's go on the ring here. Maybe if I bait him into coming on this side with me. Yeah, bait. Because. Hello? Come on, I don't understand. What the, let's see, what are the controls for outside, please? Because maybe if we understand options. Uh, for our guys. So if we do. Sorry, this is the first pause here because I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed. Uh, cell combat. So. X, A, breaking through top of the cell, obviously. So cell combat. So it is to move along the wall. Okay, so this is the first pause, and we're going to keep the pause to minimum here because sometimes, again, cell matches are... Cell ma Hell and cell matches aren't what I remember them to be in earlier versions of the series here. Like, I don't remember this. I don't remember this being this annoying here to get out of a cage. So. Out of the ring and even closer to the chain link enclosure. Ooh. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Thank you. If I have to eat it, I'll have to eat it so we can get out. Thank you. As that was, there's no doubt in my mind that it will only make this Hell in a Cell match even more memorable. Oh boy. Absolutely. Oh boy, Cody. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't die. Do you hear them chanting? Please don't die. Yo, he did the Stardust fucking car. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Okay, if you are squeamish, I'm sorry guys. Oh Ooh. Can I get pinned up here? I can't pin him. Okay, so so for the carnage, everybody. For the carnage, everybody. Oh man, I cannot wait till we go back to the normal cell. I didn't even know he had one queued up like that. Here is your winner. <laughs> so, so, that was a little bit lackluster, but again, it'd be hell in a cell bullshit. 
So I feel like as soon as we got to the carnage, we're like, yeah, carnage, carnage. And then three and a half stars. Okay. Oh, what's up, Omar? Welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for subscribing here. And welcome to the channel here, Omar. Appreciate you. We are currently about a quarter of the way in to our um, Hell in a Cell champion. Uh, Hell in a Cell PLE, excuse me here. Bear with me as my brain is scattered. Uh, we just kind of recap here. Uh, Cody Rhodes retaining his title intercontinental championship against carrying cross and that lackluster hell in a cell match obviously we're not going to be using hell in a cell matches here anymore <laughs> and universe mortal once, once i finally get it down here i'll probably do some like exhibition matches outside of stream just to kind of get more familiar with it here in the next feature next time we do a hell in a cell match for uh, universe mode uh, we did ha have Ryback retain his European Championship against uh, Dexter Loomis. Uh, Kurt Angle uh, retained his United States Championship in that three-way to open up the card against Tanahashi and Booker T. And Dolph Ziggler giving Gunther a run for his money, but uh, in his farewell match here on Universe Mode, uh, did come short against Karrion Ross. So our next match is for the newly minted or repurposed um, uh, WCW World Heavyweight Championship. It was formerly the, the it was formerly the AEW Championship, but because we do have WCW in my universe mode, we just repurposed it and had that be its world title for the show. Now so, we're talking. Uh, we do have the return of the Ocho, Chris Jericho, um, making his return back into Universe Mode. Here, shout out to Iconic Two K for some of the amazing calls that I do have in my Universe Mode. I'm, there are some great call creators and content creators in this community here, and you know my Universe Mode wouldn't be the way it is if it isn't for them. So shout out to y'all. And I know I don't have the patience for it. And I do, you know, even with my understanding of how to create a calls here, and even in the earlier days of like 2K, WWE, 2K23, not 23, but like 13 and 14, this is it, when guys, I was dabbling in call creations, here. like, might be the most man, there's some work into it. Like the earlier days, like there was some fucking work. Fucking work. He got the sting pack. <laughs> he got the sting interest pack. I tell you that much. Baby, we'll talk to mom. Okay. And of course, we get thank to... you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. Oh yeah, I like this guy. Thank you. I will say when I did see that title, I thought that was actually pretty dope as far as what they did to repurpose the, you know, and whoever I think it's Shogi who made that, who made that Shogi has a whole section um, in custom and community year, creations guys, where it's basically like a revamped and, and a revamped or rebrand of WCW. And there are some great Shogi titles out there too. Not just WCW, but I believe the whole universe mode in and of itself here. If you wanted to do a hard reset and go from scratch, man, there's some great Shogi titles, some Shogi assets in there. I thought this MJF one called that because that I initially downloaded because this was like, I would say like week one of release of 2k23 like there there were some builds that like he's a lot taller than i feel like he should same with my cesaro two cesaros a lot or my claudio Casagnoli. he's a lot taller than i think he should be and he's a lot beefier like Mm -hmm. 
MJF. 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 The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. I do have some ideas for like 2K24. If you know, if I continue to make content, WWE content here, I have some like dope ideas on what I want to do here. He has a finisher. Yep. How'd I know? How'd I know? How'd I know? How'd I know you had that shit queued up about to knock me the fuck out? How'd I know, sir? Let's let's talk, let's talk about this real quick. Like we can't even get like an Irish like a, uh, like the whole like grapple like you come fucking face first. Try to sit here and hit me with a fucking rolling fucking arm, bro. Short time. Right. Switch them. Okay. Momentum. A little, bit, a little bit of combo string right now. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Yeah, these are, for me, still a little bit of hard to read because you're not sure what button they're going to hit. And if you guess wrong, you're going to be. I do believe it is a 20 count. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta yeah, love it. 20 count. Uh-oh, he could be looking for a submission here. It's locked in the cross face chicken wing. I'm not quite sure if this and it delivers the oh, right there, elbow. It gets out of it. Oh, nice drop kick. Stop, please, sir. He was waiting for him to make his move. Here we go again. Here we go again. Inverted suplex. I start attacking. Ah, oh, look at this! Just cranking it out. Hmm. Cranking the head. Continuing to work on the arm mm. and a carefully measured knee drop. So much damage inflicted. Let's go. Let's do this again. Uh, 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 get it. Let's warm him up. Warm him up for that arm bar finisher towards the end here. Come on. Get up there. Get up there, the Ocho. Oh. Oh. Nice and Sakari. Nice and Sakari. Cold breaker. No, sir. No, sir. And he easily stops the ref's count. A truly impressive kick out this late. He gets sent down to the floor. He's taking this to the floor now. Vicious mm -hmm. right forearm. Okay. That one scouted. This from some like long term storytelling here. Uh, this is just um, number one contender going up against current champ. Uh, 
because MJF was the AEW champion going into season two of 2K content on the channel. Uh, he really hasn't dropped the belt since he was introduced in my universe mode. Jericho has become a champion before he did beat Kenny Omega for the United States IWGP United States Championship here and then Kenny won it back I believe their match was an Extreme Rules match earlier um, in this season here for Universe Mode okay he hit this I believe it's a 20 count Yeah, it's a 20 count. Oh, wow, we're busted. We got our first blood busted open here, guys. We are officially. Yeah, he got me stunned. He's. Oh, oh boy. I am on the world's worst combo, bro. Is it 15 count? Yeah, it is a 15 count. That's why he ran back in. But he can't take his time. Letting his opponent know respect is earned, and he's still a dollar short. And that was an effective attack, guys. Vicious knee drop. Boom, what a kick. The challenger is in some big trouble. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Mm. He moves just in time. How did I... I'm just so confused about the collision and about who prioritizes who's grapple first. So that, that is also a thing that if you don't know, you don't have the proper reach. This invisible wall, like right there. Like there's like an invisible wall right there between that bottom turnbuckle and that ring post. Okay. I'm just getting my ass beat, by the way. This is the weird combo strings that no one can ever fucking counter out of. And he's going to hit me with his finisher. Both these guys chant. Twisting away. Oh no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his body? Can he roll? Can he roll here? Remember resiliency? Fight it, fight it. I figured he would have had a resiliency. Two. Look at the heart, the determination. Two. Saw that one coming. Two. Number two. Oh, nice counter. Listen, I don't like this Jericho call because he has this fucking running fucking finisher that if you don't have like a 0.2 second reaction time to it, like you're fucking eating shit. And I've learned that the hard way. Because you busted me open, sir. We're going to make an attempt to bust your ass open. Mm. Shit, nice, nice leg take down. Oh my goodness, they strike it at will. Doesn't hurt me. But it's not, baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. No more. But it's not. There you go. Not where you want to be right now. Yeah, we're gonna just yeet bitch tits. Jericho. For these two competitors, this could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. And the champion finally ready to put this one away. Kick out at two. How does anyone kick out at this point? Oh, square shot. 
<laughs> I knew he was coming, the rolling elbow. <laughs> No, 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 oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, I am dead smacked in the middle of this fucking ring. No fucking way. No fucking way. This not knowing what he has in the fucking HUD is dangerous as fuck, bro. Cause like I'm in my mind, I'm worrying about the rolling elbow because I can never counter it. <laughs> and then the smack dab in the middle of the ring after resiliency burn <laughs> is the walls of fucking Jericho. Yo, shout out Jericho. <laughs> shout out. Made them just made some things interesting here on the brand. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>